Hey there guys, Newman Pro, and I'm here to talk about Is This the Death of Yu-Gi-Oh? Newman Pro does the Yu-Gi-Oh show. So I've seen a lot of videos come out recently about is Yu-Gi-Oh dying? Are they declaring war on the secondary market? And it took me a little bit of time, but I've really started to debate this topic. Let's look, for example, at all the Wing Raider reprints. MSTs! Bottomlesses for days! So what is up with all these reprints? Look at what Gold has done now. Look at all the Cosmo stuff that's gotten reprinted. Look at all the people you pissed off with Pepe putting the emergency ban list. Look at all the Cosmo players that went out, jumped from Pepe to go to Cosmos, and now they're super pissed because they just paid 120 some dollars for each Cosmo Dark Destroyer, and now that price is just shot down to 50 and still going down from here. Well, that's life. Konami is not having the game of Yu-Gi-Oh die. I think that it's evolving while at the same time going backwards. Look at the cards that got that are getting released in the future here, like in Shining Victories. All the new Blue Eyes support. All the Dark Magician support that's coming out with the movie. So what am I really getting at about this? Um, the secondary market doesn't directly make money for Konami, but at the same time, it, a lot of people, their arguments say that, oh, well, it's because all these stores and individuals and things like that to buying up cases cases of product cases of product so that they can pull out the secrets pull out the um the hollows and sell the hollows on the secondary market look at what happened to bosch and wing raiders particularly wing raiders the most expensive card when those boxes really came out was twenty dollars with four strings but anyways that's another thing to go into this conversation. Why is Bosch's uh, secret, uh, special edition, super edition, whatever it is now, <laughs> I've got the boxes on order. I don't even know if it's a super or a special edition. I believe it's a, it should be a special edition. But look how fast that's already come out. I mean, literally a month, roughly? Um, so what's happening here? Yu-Gi-Oh! is evolving while at the same time going back. Nickelodeon is in partnership now to air the Arc V anime. Nickelodeon is focused on kids. Simple as that. Yu-Gi-Oh! is, well, uh, how, how would you put it? I plan to turn KaiberCorp into a company that specializes in children's trading cards. It already does For that. For actual children. How dare you, Pegasus! Exactly! Couldn't say it better myself. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a children's card game. And I know, fine, I'm an adult, but I'm still a child at heart. I'm a, I'm a young adult, but I don't go into this. I have the money to spend $900,000 on a Cosmo deck. I do have the money for that. But why? I, why should I pay that amount to enjoy the game? I can enjoy it online for free, and I can play a whole bunch of cheaper decks. Uh, Dino Mist, Fluffles. There's a lot of decks out there that are relatively cheap. Konami is planning to reprint cards faster because that's what the secondary market demands. People, kids, don't want to pay 120 They do, obviously, some of them because that's why the price is so high. If one, two, three people are willing to pay $120 for a card, it immediately makes other people think that that card is worth $120. It skews the market in that favor. If I was to go out and say, hey, this card, I'm going to go out and publicly buy certain cards for $100, I can manipulate the market. Because as soon as word gets out that, oh my god, this card, somebody bought it for that amount, it starts to drive their idea of, hey, I'm going to list this card a little bit higher. A little bit higher, people start paying more. A little bit higher, incrementally you move things up. If a lot of people do it in mass, that's how you have big changes. That's what happened with the Phantom Knight. What happened with Levier? Jumped up to $40 Levier did on its ult ulti. I have its ulti. <laughs> I was thinking about selling it, but it jumped up to $40 over one day. That's how volatile the market is. As soon as some people start seeing something, they jack up the price. People will pay for it, but if not enough people pay for it, you can't maintain that price. Levier is still more expensive than it was a week ago, but a lot of people agreed that it's not that expensive of a card and it moved down so where are we at from this gold series reprints i'm sorry cosmo players i'm sorry pepe's that jump ship to cosmo but that's what konami is looking at 
They are looking and saying, hey, the market says people want Cosmos. That's why they're paying all that money for it. People want Cosmos. Why are structured decks getting better every day? Look at, look at the Emperor of Darkness structure deck. Look at the Monarch structure deck. You can play at a meta level almost with three structure decks. And if everybody goes out and buys three structure decks, what, it ha what happened with the earlier games with the Yugi and Kaiba stuff? People would go out and buy three Kaibas, three Yugis to have a very, very good deck back in the day. That right there, you didn't have to go buy booster packs for it. You knew the sets, you got them, they're done with. So is that what we're going to now? abso freaking lootly. Look at what happened with Dark Worlds as a structure deck. Look at what happened with Agents as a structure deck. Those decks became tier one by buying structure decks. What do you think Konami is looking at? They don't want people to just be selling the cards all individually. They make a little bit of money off of that because people buy up cases and stuff with the intention to do it. But if you're going to look at the health of Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole over time, you have to look at the younger generation. And the younger generation does not want to look and say, I don't want to get into Yu-Gi-Oh! because the only way I can play competitively is paying over $900, getting my parents to pay $900 for a card game that can f drop within the very next month. That's why they hit Pepe. They didn't hit it just because it's so overpowered. They hit it because the prices for those cards started to go up, and they don't want that to happen. They're not declaring war on the secondary market, folks. They want people to see this game as affordable, and they also want to make their money off that affordability by reprinting $120 cards, Cosmo Farm Girls, cards that are expensive in the secondary market. They're going to reprint and say, hey, Buy our stuff at the store. You will get your cards. So what do I see happening in the future? I joke about MSTs being reprint like mad, but what I see, Twin Twisters getting reprints. Galaxy Cyclones getting reprints. Cards that people want are going to get reprints a lot faster nowadays. The only thing is, please to God, Konami, reprint. Give me the print of Blood Mayfist. Give me a print of that card. I've wanted that card since it came out in 2011 as sort of as the tournament, the YCS prize card. I want that card. Forget Giant Hand. Giant Hand, nice. Complete my numbers. Keep working on my numbers collection. Give me that synchro, that level eight synchro. I want it. Give it to me now after all these years. They want kids to buy their new product, not the secondary market. They don't want kids to see this game as expensive because it shouldn't have to be. But other than that, that's been my discussion on that. Let you guys know, obviously, I am picking the first pack one, and I'm giving you two packs this time. Uh, you know, so I decided two packs for the first winner out of this. So this is star pack number 14, 2014. You know, not like every card in here is a possibility there's only three cards in each pack this is open to the 48 continental united states i'm going to have the winner right here from the last discussion video in the description be sure to leave a comment like subscribe you'll get a chance to win one or two or more of these packs other packs in the future too as i get those this is just because i was able to get this really 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 dirt cheap this box so uh um, yeah leave a comment 48 continental united states Con winner here contact me via private message on youtube let me know hey where what's your address um and i'll mail it to you in a plain white envelope uh, i'll email i'll mail two of them and so you got six cards feel free to record say what you got in the future videos but other than that guys leave your comments below let me know Yu Gi Oh evolving and at the same time going backwards what are your thoughts on it this has been newman pro saying get your game on to a slightly mediocre level <clears> Thank <throat> you.